Okay, I'm going to talk just a little bit more about a couple of the ideas that were in previous videos. This result in a circle, if a diameter or a radius is perpendicular to a chord, then it bisects the chord and its arc. We're going to talk a little bit about why. We're going to start with the diameter BD perpendicular to chord TB. So we've got the right angle here. We've got four right angles at point A. Um, we want to show that BD or CD for that matter, the radius CD, bisects chord TV. So we got to show that TA is congruent to VA. And we got to show that arc TD is congruent to arc VD. Um, we know that TC is congruent to VC because they're both radii of the circle with its center at point C. We know that CA is congruent to itself by the reflexive property of congruence. Uh, from the Pythagorean theorem, it follows that TA and VA must be the same length because B squared will equal C squared minus A squared. And they both have the same hypotenuse and they share a leg. Um, we then have, so TA is congruent to VA. By the side, side, side triangle congruence theorem, we know that triangle TAC is congruent to angle, or triangle, sorry, triangle VAC. Um, we then have angle TCA congruent to angle VCA since they're corresponding parts of congruent triangles. But since those central angles, well, TCA is really the same as TCD, and VCA is really the same as VCD, since those angles are congruent, their arcs must also be congruent. Those arcs have to be congruent, TD and VD. Um, then we have it. If TA is congruent to VA, then the diameter bisects the chord. And we've shown that TD and VD are congruent, so that diameter also bisects the arc. Okay, we're going to do two examples real quickly. And then you'll be off to the assignment on quizzes. So example one, find the value of x to the nearest hundredth. Now what I need you to notice is x is the diameter of the circle. We've got an 8.2. That's this distance here. We've got a 16.9. That's this distance right here. This must also then be 16. 9 because of the right angle that means the radius bisects the chord um, because we have a right triangle we can find this length from here to here let's call that length y actually let's call it r because it's the radius of the circle so we know that r squared equals 8.2 squared plus 16.9 9 squared. So r is square root of 8.2 squared, 16.9 squared. And x will be 2 radii, 2 times the radius. So if we do 2 times the radius, we'll have our answer. Um, the radius turns out to be, if you work out that calculation, 18.7843019567, those are the numbers. And then if we double that to get x and round it to the nearest hundredth, we get 37.57, and that is our answer.
All right, second example. It's all about the Pythagorean theorem. These are right triangles that we're dealing with. Just to look at, make sure you see the right angle in the corner. Okay, example two. Find the value of x and round to tenths. Okay, so we have a diameter of 26.6. That gives us a radius of 13.3 three just half of the 26.6 because we have a 12.5 here and a 12.5 over here we know that this radius is perpendicular to the chord um, so that we have a right triangle what we're going to do is we're going to find y this length right here using the Pythagorean theorem and once we have that we will be able to find x by taking 13.3 and subtracting y. I want you to think about that. x will equal 13.3, subtract the y. Because this is a radius of the circle. OK, so we're going to find the y value. y equals the square root of 13.3 squared minus 12.5 squared. Just use the Pythagorean theorem. Um, and then x will be 13.3 to weigh the y. I'm going to let you do those calculations. And you should come up with x equals 8.8 when you round to the nearest tenth. 8.8 is the answer that we're getting. X equals 8.8. .8. Okay, that's the video for these two examples, and good luck with the quizzes.